Hello to the what? Oh. Hi. Hello to the welcome saga. I finally have a first farm. It's a beauty. It's good. I'm not a I'm not usually a violent person. So today's uh, episode is going to be a special episode. It's special because uh, I decided that today is going to be a special episode. Or maybe I didn't decide it. S society decides. It's a special episode because I'm sleep deprived and I, my commitment I made is a, the commit, I made the, I com so what are we doing today? Today is, uh, 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 uh. all right, I got it. So the, the first episode, the first episode of the series, you remember how it started? Yeah, I didn't think I was going to talk about that ever again, did you? There's actually a reason for that. That crazy craziness, there's actually a reason. I fell into the world, here-ish, from up there. From up there. And if you remember before, I mentioned something about portals. That they're going to be important. They're important to the series. Picture, if you will, a portal that is important to the series. And that's what I'm going to be making. So I'm going to make a smaller portal than the one I made at the farm way off in the, uh, in the cloud lands. In clouds land. And it's going to go along with the theme of the other one. It's based on uh, the Zelda Twilight Princess portal. I'm going to need some ingredients. Let's see, what do I got? I have... Black wool, that's good. I have this now, cayenne, which is probably one of my favorite colors, actually. But I'm going to go with that, because this is going to be a friendly portal. And if you remember in the game, in Zelda Twilight Princess, but if a portal's foe, it's red. But if it's friend, it's, I think, this. I have a sneaking suspicion that these sheep are repopulating themselves, because they constantly escape. I constantly kill them, and the number never goes down in here. So this isn't all we'll need. We'll actually need a bit of this. And I don't really have that much. I don't think I've ever actually made nether brick before. Fun fact. The other thing is cobblestone fence. Yeah, this is going to be kind of strange. And who could forget trusty dirt? All right, game time. Time to jump in. This looks like a pretty uh, center of the pretty, I mean, a very center of the lake. Yeah. So, I'm going to build up a towel from here. Well, that's uh, my entire stack, 64. I think that's high enough. I don't want it to be so low that it's going to be like a part of things. I want it to just like be sort of like, it's up in the air. You can see it if you looked up, but like, for the most part, maybe you won't even notice it. So this is going to be the center. I'm going to go ahead and mark it with these. It's going to be three by three. And on the outside, there's going to be a lovely square around it. Five by five. Uh -huh. Frozen? Five by five. That's what I meant to say. This next part will seem a little random, but I'll explain... Probably after, because during is much more difficult than I'd... Whoops, my brain stopped working.
Hopefully this is a non-confusing aerial view of what exactly I just did. I'm missing a piece, so it's a good thing I checked my work just now. It's off to the to the left. See, perfectly in the middle. I just needed two there. There. So this is kind of like a mini version. Alright, a couple final bits. Then we can move on. We can get this over with. Uh, it's, it's not like I'm in a rush. I'm actually... I, I say that I'm tired. I'm sleep deprived because I'm, I want to be honest with you. If, uh, if I get sloppy during this, I really hope I don't. Ultimately, it just makes it more work for me <laughs> in editing. Because I'll, like, I'll have a sentence and I'll be like, so this is, uh, this is uh, and like, I don't know, I might think it's funny at the time, or whatever, and do it a lot, just because I'm tired. <laughs> then later I'll be like, what? It just, I just, what? So, it's, it's more work for me. But I'm still going to, I'm still going to stay with the quality, hopefully. Me and the quality, we're going to stick together. Oh, we're right there. Perfect. So, these are kind of uh, glitchy effects that are going to go along the outsides. Just kind of uh, skirting the uh, the perimeter. And that's the first part of making this uh, look a bit more interesting. For the sake of confusion, I'm going to show what I've done. Now for the sake of clarity, I'm going to actually try to explain my actions. What I've done here. So these are the first three that I put down. Upon reviewing the footage of me building this, I decided that it's easier if I just show you what I did. So, like I said before, I put pieces kind of sticking out the sides, um, just little things, not nothing too big or too crazy, and just nothing really straying too far away from the main shape of the, the design. So, here I go, just showing them all, in case there's any of you adventurous people out there trying to make one of these. Here's the, uh, the rest of it. Okay. Hopefully that's, that makes it less confusing, because it could get more confusing from here on out. Now it's time to descend. Descend into the portal. Although, technically, this is going out of it because this is the bottom supposed to be the front. Alright, that's probably enough. That's like, what, four blocks? I'm gonna give myself a bit of a, uh, a structure underneath here to stand on. So I'm gonna do what I did to the top, but on the face of this. So I'll show you that when it's done. Alright, I'll start on the end that looks like an L, or whatever. That's It looks like an L somewhere in some universe. So there's a little shape like that, like that, like that. Just basically putting these little design things uh, wherever I wanted. Trying to stay with the theme, kind of. Sometimes a little floaty one out there. This I, I, I swear to you, there's a, there's a mirror, there's a reason for this uh, madness. Hopefully it'll show itself soon for everyone's sake including mine what this actually I guess I can start explaining it what this does is it kind of breaks up the mono t toneness of like having wait that's not the it's not a word so I can't get too detailed or too pixelated on some of these things and this color almost matches that color or it kind of blends it so it looks like it's um it's tricking the wool into being more detailed than it actually is. So this ends up looking a lot like the blue stuff, and what I have in my hand starts to look a lot like the darker stuff as I place that in, which is going to be its own fun, strange thing. So what I'm going to do is every single one of these, every single one is going to have a dark fence underneath it, just like that. And that. Uh oh. <laughs> At this point, we have this. This lovely mess. As long as there's an approach, 
to the mess that's not as messy, then that's all I care about. It's, it's about clarity. Oh, wait, I'm missing one. So after this, it actually does get a little messy. Basically, I'm just going to throw in extra pieces every so often. Just uh, kind of like, um, I don't know, it's, it's hard to describe. I guess design-wise, I'm just trying to find ways to sort of connect these into longer pieces. Like if there's a gap here, make it connect. Nothing to really, nothing, nothing more than that though. So this is what we got. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can get the moon to help it out. Actually, it looks pretty cool. If I can, uh, I wonder if I can get the moon. Moon, get over here. I got it. Or whatever. <laughs> and here it is in the daytime. It's just uh, chilling out up there. Let's see. I'm curious what it looks like from the side. Oh, yeah. So it's, uh, it's just high enough to uh, be out of the shot if you're just looking around like normal. But then you'd be like, oh, I think that's actually a good height. Maybe if I really could tweak it, I'd have it a little higher maybe, but that's fine. It's kind of funny. It starts to uh, distort from, uh, that's, that's one of the reasons, oh. <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I wanted to be higher is, um, it doesn't actually get recognizable if you're, uh, if you're too much at its level. This must be heaven, man. Well, actually, no, I just went up really high. Um, I thought it was symbolic and important to uh, simulate the uh, the intro of the very first episode. So, uh, so I believe if I stand here, I will fall perfectly through the center of that and then into the world, just like the first episode. So without further ado, and I'll go into... Wait, no, that's the wrong one. Okay, wait, I got it. There we go. F1. Here goes. What? You know, I still haven't answered the question of what. Have I? <laughs> and since I can't think of any better way to end an episode than that, I'm going to end it with that. <laughs> and actually, that was kind of cool. Uh, a little bit different than the uh, first time. I seem to have landed in a village of sorts. Uh, they seem to have a terrible um, control of their livestock. Uh, clearly they uh, do not know what they are doing here. Anyways, that's it for the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. This has been uh, Red McNed, and it's uh, been a short episode, but hope it's been uh, hopefully sweet. And I'm just happy I made one. I made one before uh, having to s say, nope, can't do it. So take care, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.